Good morning. Uh, I was watching a clip from Girls Trip and Tiffany Haddish goes, this hotel is nasty. A ghost tried to fuck me. Have you ever been fucked by a ghost? And it's hilarious when you hear it, but um, a lot of people have. <laughs> um, I got visited by Ursula Freda last night, and it happens once in a while, particularly when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, but uh, <laughs> I'm married to Ursula Freda, so it's different. But people get confused with, I see a lot in these Facebook groups talking about um, spirit wives and spirit husbands and people having sex with spirits and then having astral travel sex and people getting attacked by um, various spirits and people um, get having getting basically raped by them. Um, even people have seen certain, like, Eshus and Pombajiras and stuff, but those usually are, like, Kiombas, or they see, like, transgender-type spirits and all types of crazy stuff. Now, let's talk about it. So, I talk about Loa first. Let's talk about that. So, when you do a Mirage Loa, you're, it's like a real marriage. Um, you're marrying a spirit, and usually it's not never supposed to be one to get a, and it's usually not supposed to be a god or a quinn. Um, but it's one of the, usually most of the Rado Loa. And so Loa are Haitian spirits from, spirits from Hispaniola. And you can see this mostly Haitian voodoo, not so much the 21 divisions. And they come down in possession. There's rings exchanged. A cake is cut. They kiss, and it's almost like a real... Uh, marriage and for one or two days of the week max you're not really supposed to have sex or have anyone in your bed that night on those days designated for the rest of your life so it's not like you're it's not like you're in a real marriage where you have to attend to them every day or see them every day but they are around you and some of the benefits are depending on what law you have from protection to wealth to increased um mates but sometimes those they do especially when you're not attending to them they do cause problems in those sex same areas with protection wealth um money uh love and it is sometimes a little hard to explain to someone if you're married or potentially going to find a partner that hey i can't have sex on two days a week um, especially if you're younger or you know, you can't sleep. I have to sleep in a separate bed. But that's the way it is. They do often have sex with you in your sleep. Sometimes you're aware. Sometimes you're not aware. It is just like a um, regular marriage contract. And you don't feel drained like you're getting psychically attacked. Um, so, um, the other versions are human people or priests who do astral traveling um, to have sex with you, either in the astral realm or in, like, the dream state, or even even physically project um, in your room. And this can be... People have even been raped this way. It's more of, a, like, a spiritual type of sexual abuse. And it is something that does happen to people. Um, people priests have also sent spirits for this to happen um when that happens you it's not warranted and if even if sometimes it is if it's like a godparent or you know some knows the person they broke their trust but that type of thing is never warranted so you do not you definitely want to break connections with that person who's doing it once you find out who that is do necessary cleansings and then if you have to do reversal do reversal um with the whole spirit wife thing. Most of these spirit wives are not really, um, like, um, Iawo. Iawo, it means spirit wife. So you're like, and it comes mainly from the Shango cult. So you're a wife of Orisha, you're a wife of Odun, and you go into possession. That's the only, it means they guide you, they get ceremonially put on your head, and then they possess you. That's the only wife part, in it, and it's only because to let a spirit inside you is seen as almost like a female act or a submissive act. 
So that's why they call it wife. And it, there's a similar concept in Sikhism where um, you're seen as the wife of God, whether you're male or female, meaning that they all, God always has the dominant, or Wahi Guru always has the dominant position in this relationship because he or it is the creator and responsible for all reality, and there's no way a regular human can compare to that. So you're always going to be submissive to it. So that's using a male-female dominant submission sexual dichotomy. I don't always agree with that um, that view, but um, that's just dominant view in most of ancient literature um and even basic african thought it's really based on a lot of sex and um, dichotomous gender roles um so with the whole spirit wife people talk about spirit wives and they really talk about the latter humans either astral traveling or they get in a random spirit or an intranquil spirit and the spirit is having sex with them and they think they're getting a good deal but it turns parasitic, and most people are not, sorry, not either smart or aware or spiritual or aware enough that what they're really doing is slowly killing them and sucking their life force until they finally get sick, and then they, they're like, oh, I need help to get rid of it. You shouldn't have done the stupid shit to begin with. So a lot of people who voluntarily get into these situations, um, I used to speak against it. They call me crazy, and then they come back later and say, oh, well... Now this is happening. Well, I told you to begin with. So, but people never have to learn that there's more than just getting off. And um, if you really need to get off by yourself, go buy a sex toy or something. Don't get a spirit wife. Um, and you can tell there's a lot of men, a lot of women who do this bullshit on Facebook. Um, then another type you have the succubus, which is usually with a lot of these spirit wives. On Facebook end up being or psychic vampires again I talked about another um, uh, live where I was talking about people who have a deficiency in energy um, they're unable to create um, enough energy for themselves or just their energy level is a little too high for their body it's some type of energetic imbalance and so they need other people to help fill that void or they're voluntarily like sucking off the energy of other people in any case whether it is a i guess victim type of situation or a predatory situation they need to fix that shit and it's not your job to be a, a victim for them so if you're in that situation again cut ties um and and then um and then they can actually trick you and even appear in a dream state as something else so that can appear as a ghost or something else or even something familiar and it's still really the person or a priest doing it um then you have the yeah the incredible spirit of a ghost or um that's something a negative entity that's attached to you that starts having sexual intercourse with you as a way to just as a way to drain your energy um that could happen as well as the other type of actual incubus, which is a male, or a female is a succubus, which is a demonic entity that is, that's all they do. They attack people, um, they ride them in their sleep, they call them the old hag. It's a um, entity that is completely parasitic. Um, most guys, for some reason, like that type of situation scenario and they get themselves caught up because they might have the best sex they have ever ever in their dreams but um they're slowly killing them um because once you start depleting your life force to a certain level you can't it's hard to recoup and then you start to get sick you start to get um various diseases cancer stuff like that because your immune system drops as well um so basically a demon is a demon in that scenario, to call it succubus, incubus, it's, it's a fucking demon. And you can't control it, and you can't do packs with it, because all they want to do is just suck your energy. And so you turn into basically a lifeless husk, and then they move on to the next person. Um, so I don't know why people enjoy that, but it's all about ignorance and limited view of what's out there. And then... This is the last. I think I talked about all of them. Um, yeah, those are basically 
what will happen when you get in quote unquote fuck by a ghost um are you having spirit sex um Lawa is the only really marriage Lawa is the only type of scenario where it is kind of sanctioned because you voluntarily do it and you voluntarily oh there's some issue of Palmajer as I said that um sometimes people use to send to people and yeah it's usually kind of it's a negative entity it's in there like a um parasitic fashion as well but the law marriage law is the only type of scenario where it's kind of voluntary and there's it's like a symbiotic type of marriage where the other type and also Risha and Vodun it's a yawo is a spirit is a wife of a spirit so that's a symbiotic um relationship but the other ones are all corrupt and parasitic and so um yeah and some people try to convince you otherwise but a lot of times they're trying to feed their own shit so they're trying to evangelize the same behavior so that that same spirit that they work with will feed off the next person instead of feeding off of them and most people are not too keen to that because um people who do work in demonology and uh, demolatry are just as bad as evangelicals. They will give you pamphlets, PDFs, um, bi- like demonic Bibles, books, any, anything you need. They'll tell you everything you need to do as long as you work that way. And it's a, it's just like Christians and Muslims do it for beneficial. It's either for ego or they feel like they're being a missionary or even within Islam, they get bonus points in heaven if they do it. A lot of Christians think they get bonus points in, in heaven for converting people as well. Um, people who work with demons is the same way, except it's even more corrupt because they're really feeding you to something. Um, or sometimes they're not even aware of it, that the demon is pushing them to look for other people. Kind of like um, like rapists and more like child molesters who like molest children and then the children, child grows up and once they get to a certain age, they want the child muster to go get other children. Same type of shit. Um, it's that grooming, and then you pass on that behavior to somebody else to get another victim. It's the same thing that a demon does. Or I, when I say demon, I'm not completely talking about the Christian um, archetype. I'm talking about any type of negative entity that exists in a parasitic nature that is usually of an older variety um they are not something else that turned into that it's they literally were just that for a long time um i'm not talking about people who were bad and they became demons i'm talking about things that always were like that and there are entities that are like that they've always been like that they don't like humans and they just use them for food um yeah so when you encounter those situations, you want to, um, if you can't get spiritual help, do so. Um, break ties, um, break connections with people who do that. Get spiritual cleansing. Sometimes you might even have to get a sacrifice to put that demon in something else or in another animal just to get it the fuck away from you. And yeah, talk to you later. Bye.